Saturday night takes on Steve Pulliam. The fight will be uh, seen live on FS2 prior to the uh, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia pay per view uh, uh, fight card in Arlington, Texas, just outside Dallas. Vito, what's happening? Just doing good. Just got done training. So I'm ready to head out to Dallas next week. So uh, talk about this. It's before we get to the fight. You um, obviously changed trainers. This will be your first fight with Joe Goosen. You're in L.A. now. Uh, you've been out there for, what, about three months now? Uh, something about like that? Out in L.A. now, training with Joe Goosen. So um, Joe, he's been teaching me a lot, improving stuff that I've already been, had in my arsenal, but he's just improving on it. Um, he's adding just a whole different game to, to what I already have. So. I can't wait to display what uh, I've been working on with Joe in these past three months. What um, you know, what have what have you uh, been, you know, um, without giving much away, what what's been maybe, uh, you know, Joe Joe's, you know, obviously had about thirty, at least thirty, maybe more world champions. What's been the the uh, maybe the biggest difference in terms of you know just training camp? Shape I've ever been in. Um, Obviously, the training with Joe is way more intense. It's, it's the definitely the toughest training I've been in, t training camp I've been in my uh, whole career. So um, I'm in the best shape of my life, and Joe has gotten me more than ready for this fight on December 5th. Um, what's it like been out there? Obviously, you've been in Jersey your whole career. W what's it like uh – you know, in new surroundings. I know you've trained in other places, but this, you know, you're, this is a real training camp out in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, you not really in the comforts of home. What, what, what's been, uh, what's that been like? Coming out here, obviously I'm out here on my own with uh, my cousin D'Lo, who is actually turning pro in uh, MMA soon. So he's been training with me and um, basically just, I'm on my own. I'm, my dad actually came out for Thanksgiving. But um, just the whole vibe of a training camp, like my whole life is just revolving around uh, boxing now because I've graduated and um, just this is my life now. Uh, that's all I'm, that's on my mind every day is just boxing and I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, this is your second fight since the pandemic. And obviously you, you fought on other world title cards. You've been on the biggest car of the year with Fury and Wilder. Now you're uh, fighting on this card in, in Texas stadium or, or at t stadium. What, um, you know, you, you'll be fighting from it, you know, in a big stadium atmosphere. Are you excited for that? Hey, thank you to Al Heyman and, uh, the whole PBC family for, they continually put me on the biggest stage as possible on the biggest cards each and every time I fight. So um, I'm blessed to be with the best company in the game, in the whole game. So Al Heyman is just putting me on the biggest stages every uh, fight in and fight out. So I want to thank him, but uh, obviously the atmosphere is going to be great going back to having fans uh, for the second time after tank. And uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait to put on a show in front of people in Dallas and fighting in Dallas Cowboy stadium is obviously something that, uh, just every fighter dreams of fighting in an atmosphere like that. So I'm going to uh, be a sponge and absorb all the experience. I mean, you're a Jets fan, right? So, uh... <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, they're all in 10, but, but at least they, it seems like they're trying the, the Cowboys. Uh, basically, what's that? I don't know. Every time you're talking with the beginning of your conversations cutting off, Can't can't hear you. See if see if there's a sit setting on your uh your my your your thing. Well, I'll I'll ask another question. Talk about Steve Pulliam. What, what do you know about him? We we don't have the we have no no volume from you. Now we now I think I can hear you. Vito, we hear him. I I hear you. How about now? Yes, perfect. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Hmm. Talk, talk about Steve, Steve Pulliam. Ooh, uh, we lost Vito for a second. Let's see if we can get him back. I'll uh, shoot him a text message, see, see if he can chime back in. Um, let's see here. Uh, here he comes. 
Vito, you back? Can you hear me? When you when you take it out, I can hear you. This this is it. Can you hear me? Yeah. You can hear me, but now now I can hear you. Now I hear you. Uh. So talk about Steve Pulliam. The wonders of live streaming here. So let's see uh, if we can get him back one more time. If not, uh, okay, he's back on. Can you hear me now, Vito? Yeah, now when you talk, it's not, it's messed up on mine. Okay, hold on. How about now? Is this better? It's still the same. Hold on. Talk. Here. Can you hear me? Hold on. Yeah, it's messed up. Hmm. Let me let me see here. Better, better. Hold on. I'm trying to fix it. We're live. This is great. This this this, this is this is live streaming at, at its best. Wait, talk now, Mark. Can you hear me now, Vito? No, it's messed up. Here. How about this? No. I'm gonna try to put my headphones back in. Put them back in. Can you hear me, Vito? Can you hear me now? There's my man Austin now. Charles left. Okay. Uh, so talk about Steve Pulliam, your opponent. A step up fight. He's five and two. His two losses are split decisions. Uh, he's a tall, rangy fighter. He could box, and uh, it's a it's a step up in uh, competition. But uh, training with Joe Goosen and just my everything that I've already uh, experienced in the amateurs and pros, um, I'm ready for anything that they put in front of me. So I'm ready to go. I've had the best training camp of my life, and uh, I can't wait to fight. What kind of sparring have you got out in Los Angeles? Way like I wouldn't say better than Jersey, but just a lot more pros. Like the combined records of the guys I've scored are probably like thirty something in like one or two. So um, just great sparring out here, and uh, the sparring that I need for a fight like this. Any any names you can reveal to us? You've been uh, sparring with or Ronald Cruz, uh, seventeen and one. Vlad is ten and ten and zero, I believe. Um, and a few others. I don't. I don't really know their names, but there are a lot of uh, just guys that are coming up like me. But um, great fighters. So the sparring out here is uh, great for what's going to happen on December fifth. You're uh, be fighting on FS2 uh, right before the pay per view goes on. Uh, every one of your fights has been has been uh, been televised or streamed or whatever. Is it you? You getting used to it? Getting used to the attention now because of your fights are. On these high visibility cards, obviously all my fights have been televised, um, and just I love the I love just the bright lights. I love the biggest stages, and I rise to the occasion on the biggest stages. So um, all this, it just it comes with the game, and I go in there and perform and do what I'm supposed to do, and uh, the rest will take care of itself. Where do you see yourself? Obviously, this is probably the last fight in 2020 for you. 2021, I mean, where do you expect to, to be at maybe when we talk end of the year next year? Everything is going to go well with the uh, COVID-19. Uh, hopefully, uh, boxing, everything stays on. Obviously, the COVID numbers are rising again. But um, it's on track. I definitely see myself uh by next year so um obviously we're gonna take my take our time i'm still young i'm still 18 uh just gonna keep learning on the job and uh just keep getting better and better every day do you see uh, obviously because of the new training camp do, do you see uh yourself getting you know you say learning more even quicker being you know being with joe goosen and all the resources that he um uh that, that you uh you know that, that he can give to you it's shown me a lot just in 
inside game, the outside game. Obviously, Joe's been to the top several times, and he has the recipe to get to the top. So uh, what Joe's been showing me, uh, everything that he shows me, I take in. I absorb like a sponge, like I told you. So um, I just can't wait to showcase my talents on December 5th and uh, show what I've improved on and show what I've added to my arsenal. Got a comment here from Wolves Wolfron, who's watching us on YouTube. You did the right thing uh, going pro early. Do you feel now uh, at, at 18, 19, year, 18, um, uh, 18, you're 18 still, right? Um, you feel you feel you're, you're growing into your uh, strength. I'm getting stronger each and every day. Um, I thought it was a great move to turn pro at 17. Um, I'm already ahead of most of the guys that are still in the amateurs that I've grown up with. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, we're going to stay the course, uh, to fight the fights uh, that are best for my career at the time. And uh, when the time comes to step up like we're stepping up in a fight like this one, uh, then that's what we'll do. So just keep staying the course, and I'll listen to my team and do my job going there and fight, and the rest will take care of itself. I see uh, on your Instagram, you're up on those hills doing a lot of shadow boxing up on those hills. Uh, uh, how do you enjoy doing that? Hills in Jersey with those kind of views. So uh, just like I said, while I'm out here doing stuff I've never done before, but uh, things that will benefit me in training camp and for this fight. So uh, like I said, I'm in the best shape of my life for this fight. I know, especially being around Joe, uh, you run run any celebrities yet out in LA? Came into the gym, but I mean, who came into the gym? Who? DJs and stuff like that. I don't know who they were, or they were with Ricky. So, but uh, like, I'm out here for one reason, one reason only. Uh, people always told me don't get distracted about coming to LA, but uh, I only have one my eyes on one thing, and that's boxing. So. I'm out here for one reason. Well, it's it's a good. There's two good two good things. Hey, you're 18, so you can't you can't go to any places that you get in trouble at, and and B, everything's closed down out there. Correct. For sure. Anything you want to say in closing before we let you go, and we see you next Saturday night live on FS2, taking on Steve Pulliam in a welterweight contest. Uh, uh, like I said on FS2 before the big Danny Garcia Errol Spence pay per view card. Uh, on paper, you know, pay-per-view card from the uh, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Next week for uh, my fight, FS2 prelims. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Vita Monlicky. Follow me on Twitter at Vita Monlicky Jr. And uh, just keep following my career, and I won't disappoint. Thank you very much, Vito, as usual. We, we always get you before. We'll you know, hopefully get you right after the fight on um, – on Saturday night, heck, you know, it depends. Maybe we'll get you next Saturday night, right after the fight. Maybe, maybe right out of the ring, we'll, we'll do a live stream. Now nah, I'm like, maybe, maybe we'll All do right. something right, later in the night. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Vito, thank you for a few minutes of your time. Uh, keep your dad out of trouble in LA because I know he's out there with you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. I appreciate it. Thank you. There you have it, Vito Milnicki. Junior joining us live from Los Angeles as he takes on Steve Pulliam next Saturday night live on FS2, uh, on uh, which will be a preview on the prelims before Errol Spence defends his unified welterweight world championships against Danny Garcia and what looks to be a terrific card, a, a terrific matchup, great card. And uh, stay tuned uh, this week. We're going to have a lot of coverage of the fight Um interview some of the fighters that will be fighting on the card, fighting on the pay-per-view card and some special streams that we're going to be doing late in the week next week that are going to be like no other. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, everyone should stay tuned to uh, whether it's this Facebook channel or YouTube or Twitter or wherever you're watching tonight or wherever in the world that you're watching tonight, stay tuned uh, to what we have to say and thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.